Olympics in here. I'm going to talk about how to do team invites, how to accept them, how to have more than one meeting open, um, things you can do with private channels. Um, quick note that if you switch between rooms, which I'll show you how to do later, that will end your screen share. Um, so if you're trying to do a how to video like this, uh, don't do that. You'll end up talking to yourself. So if I click on calendar here, I can see different team invites I've been a part of. Um, Zoom also um, syncs with this, so you see Zoom invites as well. If I click on a Teams, I can see I have a button to join the meeting. Um, this was a past meeting, but you should be able to click here and join a soon to start meeting or meeting that's started. You can also click the link here. You copy the link and put it in your browser as well. I did a right click there. The other place you might see it is if you go to your Teams group. If I have a team meeting in the elementary, where you can see I recorded a session here and that was shared, you click on these three buttons and view meeting details. We'll pull up that same screen and you can join, see meeting participants and all that. Um, if it's a past meeting, you can also go to your chat and join it there. So this is one of the attempts I made to record a meeting. Um, this works better with past meetings rather than if you're trying to join a current meeting. And then you can go to your email as well. Um, you'll get an email that looks like this. Um, it's from me, I'm sending it on a group title. It'll say yes, no, maybe here. If you hit yes, please note or no, or maybe that it might archive it and then you might not be able to find it. Sometimes this kind of freaks people out. It's still there, but you might have to search for it because it's not in your regular box. So if I go to the bottom of this, you'll also see the link again. You can click on the link. My specific account has a phone number that you can dial in. Most of you won't have that, so we won't talk too much about that. But that's what happens with the invites, how you get them, how you can access them. Now, if you set up your own meeting, uh, the easiest way I find is to go to calendar. Yeah, you could either do meet now or schedule a meeting. I won't hit meet now because I'll end my screen share, but that would open up a dialog to start a meeting like right away and you can invite people. If you're scheduling a meeting, you would click there. You can give it a title. You invite attendees this way or you can pick a team, Teams channel. Please note this way you can't send a private team channel, but I'll show you how you can do that using this here. Here you can pick the time, length. Length isn't really too important. It just shows you that amount of time on the calendar that's blocked away. I haven't used scheduling assistant much, but there, there's that option there. Now, if you have a group that where some of the members are in a particular channel and some aren't. So if I go to our district, I have it set up that way. Where some of these are open only to certain people in it. First off, to make one of those, you would add a channel and then proceed to make the channel and invite certain people into it. But when you do that, it won't um, open up the channel to everybody. So hit on this three. Go get email address, copy, go back to calendar, hit meet, and then our required attendees, you can paste that email address. And then it will invite people to a private channel. So you can use the private channels. That would only go to the people that are part of that channel. If you wanted to check who is a part of a channel, you'd go back to it. Click on this three or click on it here. And then this button right here, you get to see the members. So that's how you can see who's in a channel. So you might want to run multiple meetings. So that's what this box here is. I went ahead and I opened a separate meeting. And I, I went to meet now and I made that. Um, if I do that now, I'll discontinue this screen share. But I'm going to. This button right here, resume, allows me to toggle. I'm going to do that briefly, come back and re-screen share.
and so that is how that is how you toggle between the meetings this button will here you can also hang up from here and you can see that it's on hold now and it's showing me that this is here because I'm screen sharing it would pull up a different box so that's how you can have multiple meetings open at one time that's how you can send invites that's how you can use private channels so I hope you found this information valuable take care have a wonderful day.